So now that we have a few chords down, let's take a break and look instead at the style in which we can play these chords. Up until this point, we've looked at very easy strumming patterns, usually just strumming once on each chord and strumming with downstrokes. We haven't done too much with upstrokes. So today we're going to look at one of our most popular strumming patterns, which goes like this. If I were to count that out, it would sound like this. One, two, and three, and four. 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 But usually it's a lot easier just to call out the direction in which we're strumming. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. But before we get to that point, we want to first look at when we're strumming down and when we're strumming up. Now, like I said before, most of our songs we've played with just downstrokes. And if you notice, all those downstrokes always happen on a count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now realize how my arm takes this nice kind of windshield wiper motion, or like a pendulum. Every time it goes down, it must come back up. That's when we we're going to do our upstrokes. Now this might have seemed very obvious to some of you, but we're going to use this idea to master this skill. We're going to borrow an idea from percussionists that I learned from my drumline days. I've even seen guitarists like Corey Wong from Wolfwick use the same idea and say that it's helped them with their strumming patterns. And this exercise is called a grid. The grid exercise works like this. We start by strumming on the one of every measure. And as we move along in the exercise, we're going to add more strums. First, starting with one and three. Then we add two and four. So all together now we're strumming on one, two, three, four. After we get this down, we're gonna start working on our upstrokes. And we're gonna play these between our counts. One and two and three and four and one. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go very, very slowly. And we're gonna work just on our first four patterns. I've written the direction, a D for down, a U for up, above the exercise and the counts underneath. Practice saying both out loud, and that way you can keep track of the direction you're supposed to be on, and if you're playing on the right beat. Now that we understand how our downstrokes and upstrokes fit into this grid, we can start playing around with it a little bit so that it has more life and more of a groove. I've come up with four patterns to help us work with these grooves, some of the most popular ones that I've heard in songs. I'm going to teach each one, one at a time, and then we're going to try to put them together. So here's the first one. Listen to me play it a few times, and then join in whenever you're comfortable. Down, 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 up. The second one will go like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. The third one, like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. One, 
One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One. The fourth one is the one that we've been working up towards. Down, down, up, up, down. Listen to me play it a few times, then try it along with me. See if you can count or say the direction that you're strumming in as you play. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, down. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One. Now, let's try this along with the metronome. If you need to, listen to me play it a few times. I'm going to play it four times, so you could listen the first two, and then play the second two. Work through that as many times as you need to. And once you're ready, come back here and we're going to start working on those same patterns, but with chords this time. The chord progression we're going to work on is going to be from the song Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. The song will go like this. G C G D Now we'll go very, very slowly. And we're going to work just on our first four patterns, playing on the one, on the one and three, on one, two, three, and four, and then finally adding our upstrokes between the one, two, three, and four. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. as many times as you need to. Go back and replay it, listen to it a few times, and then try to play along with it. And when you're ready, we're going to work through the chord progression, but this time with the different patterns that I taught you. Now remember, if you need to, listen to me play it. It's more important that you try to match what I do, instead of trying to count it, or try to be too analytical with it. It's great to have that and to learn music like that, but ultimately we want to learn it like a language, something that comes out naturally and intuitively. So in a way, Look at this as a language lesson. And just like any language lesson, after you learn the vocab, uh, the pronunciation, the alphabet, you want to learn to listen. And you want to learn how the words are said and what pace are the phrases set. So my biggest suggestion right now is to listen to each one of the patterns before you try it. Like before, I'm going to play it four times. So you could listen to the first two and then try to play the next two. Or listen to the entire thing. And the second time you play it, try to play it long. One and two and three and four. One and two, 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 three and four. One.
To end this lesson, we're going to learn a snippet of the full song. We've learned what the main part is. G, C, G, and D. After we're done with that, we're going to move on to this section. We're going to go C, D, G, E minor. And once we're done with that section, we're going to play the turnaround, meaning how we get back into the verse. It's going to go like this. C, D, G, G7. And we're going to end it there, so we'll go back to a G and resolve the song. Altogether, it would sound like this. Now just for fun, we're going to try that up to speed. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> 